You know, I guess the special. Ah, yeah. First up, fuck you. Enemy is everywhere. Lost shields. Enemy is everywhere. Shit. Okay. Come on. Fuck you. Wait! Don't kill me. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd uh -huh. only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Uh huh. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Don't care. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. Yeah, Aquarian. Aquarian's dead if we don't go now. Yeah, literally, we need shit. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have four minutes. Where's the fucking optical drive? Okay, I got it. Let's go. Last time I was here, I dropped a bottle in the casino. <laughs> got so mad, I put my Son of a emerald fucking whore. Look, fist is dead, you assholes. I'm on it. Move. Fuck this shit. God damn it. I'm on it. Okay, so by the markets. Okay, back alley by the markets. Question, where the fuck is it? Uh, save the quarry and... Come on, open the door, damn it. We need to save her. Fuck you, assholes. You're not killing her. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Aging target. Fuck you! Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? This gun is overheated. I'm on shield! You fucking cunt. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, you pricks. Focusing. Focusing. Okay, we got chemical rounds. We got his optical drive. <coughs> Hostile spotted. Lost 
lost shields. Don't care. Get moving now. There's a very good reason. Come on, here we go. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Are you fucking kidding me, Rex? Rex, move your fat ass! I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. <laughs> really? Uh. Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What oh. kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Oh. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Huh. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Uh -huh. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. 
I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Hmm. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. Now we can you won't regret this. Garrus for now. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Actually, hmm. take a few minutes to collect your Actually, stuff. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Tower. No, we're we're trading out. No. Tali, and Garrus, the ultimate of tech strength. Also, Garrus and Tali, two of the best characters, and possibly until we get that one that between Caden and Rex. Best character. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. You know, we're you know, this is part five though, and we have literally just got like fucking most of the characters to this shit. Here's a question though, will we still be able to go to Varlavan? Also, I have a level up. Yes, light armor I have unlocked. Wait, don't I already have that? I think I can actually upgrade that then. What about this? I don't actually know how many points I have. Let me check on my stream. I don't even have any, do I? No, I do not. I wouldn't know because I actually can't see it because there's no fucking perfect plate. Wait a minute. Or is there? Is there? spare a moment of your time. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Uh, they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Okay. Okay, yeah, I do not like the placement of that. So I move the overlay back to its position. In the top right, because fuck it, I had embassy receptionist. Okay, so. 
since we've got a little bit of expanse to look around and shit now. I'm gonna try to find the, uh, the Asari woman. The Alcor was having problems with. I assume some sort of sexual relationship. The consort, that, that was the chick's name. Also, there's a quest over here. I have no idea how they got to it, but fuck it. We'll go over here. Oh, this is the financial district. Maybe we can find Barla Vaughn. I will say this though, the fucking... Just the music for this game is somewhat soothing. That reminds me, where the fuck's the Hanar, the preaching Hanar? There's a preaching Hanar somewhere. He needs to buy a license, but he's like, I don't want to buy a license. I can. It's my religion. Wait, never mind. I think I stumble across it, like, eventually after. I could talk to Avena, but Avena's not going to give me anything useful. Where the fuck is the consort? Where is the sorry consort? I th Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. I Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh, Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, Three or four months. Uh, nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh well, I hope you'll uh... return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira. Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Huh. This literally has whorehouse written all over it. That's not a good thing. Well, actually, this has like futuristic nice whorehouse written over it. Hmm. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some comfort to others I have a certain problem that could use your expertise huh maybe I can help sting I have a friend Septimus a retired Turian general I won't discuss the details but he wanted me to be more than I could be we had a falling out now he spends his days in Cora's den drinking and spreading lies about me if you would speak to him as a fellow soldier I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be Hmm. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting hmm. to see me. <sighs> Did 
just realize sex appeal does not typically to admit I'm a little nervous. Space you. If anyone says that that's offenses, that's offensive, that's actually not. The Volus actually are literally space Jews. Okay, what the fuck else was I supposed to do here around the area? Oh, hey, look, they're. They're in Space Jew. Just. Space Jew joke. Uh, oh, it's the Embassy Lounge. Speak with Diplomat. Oh. Oh, sure, why not? That's literally just right here. To be honest, though, I never realized how much I prefer. Uh, this, well, the Citadel in 2 and 3, is it's a little bit more organized. And again, I'm not going to say, not going to talk, talk about why. That's spoilers. Clerk Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Yeah. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Uh huh. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander. You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Good. And that is how you paragon shit. Just blue. Blue everywhere. Paragon. Oh, hey, look, a keeper. Scan that. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? You cock tease, I think. Thought you were gonna offer me out. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shairas. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Hmm. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be talking to the near airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Huh. Besides, the consort's nothing like the girl back on the coast. She's. She's. she's Wrong door. Do it with her. You just talk to her if you want. Okay. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, yeah, well, what are we fucking doing? Let me see. 
First up. Okay. Huh. I should get to that then. First, expose Saren. Yep. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, we could go to Kor's Den right now, but... Uh, let's go back to the tower. Hold on. Still got zero. Oh, look at that. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Good. Hopefully they fucking Eden listen. Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think that Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Uh-huh. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Uh -huh. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Hmm. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Not ready, or you just don't want us. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Fucking asshole, Turian. Commander Shepard, step forward.
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Hmm. And just like that, Shepard is now... a Spectre. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Yeah, we could always just take the Normandy. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Yay. We have more... Wait, did we just get a level up? Yay, we need more charm though. Oh shit, store discount. Another store discount. Hold on, what's the Spectre training? Give me. Yes, that's useful. Oh shit. I know. Oh, and like that, we're a Spectre. Elite units. No, I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to. So I think this gun... Huh. Wow. They really didn't have that many models for guns in this game, did they? Uh, huh, hold on. Which means... Sniper rifle. Huh. Okay, now I want to see what will happen if I do... Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, but anyway, I want to see how what like this does. First up, though, you save. Not a fucking idiot. Now, hold on. Oh, it's gone. Also, when the fuck will I be able to like fucking spec into sniper rifles? I mean, come on. Oh shit, yeah, I'm gonna need to get Unity. Huh. Well. Uh. Well, I will see you guys next time. Um. Uh, more Mass Effect. So, yay, CSEC Academy. Well, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.